Yo, yo, hey peoples! Welcome to Frolicious Arts. I'm your host and fabulous artist, Frolicious. First things first, to new and returning viewers, thank you for tuning in and kudos and appreciation to you. Today's video is not in the past and it's not in the present, cause here we are in the future with some Steven Universe fan art. Now this particular piece, I can't take full credit for the idea. One of my homies actually came up with the, you know, mashup of Steven on the throne, like the same way you see Conker in uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day, uh, you know, that classic 64 game, which is wild, by the way. If you haven't played it, you know, go play that. I'm sure you can... Actually, I think it was kind of popular, so you might be a little hard to find, but I digress. Now, he was like... Yo, you should draw that. And I was like, yeah, I should draw that. Because, you know, it would be a pretty fire idea. Of course, that was <laughs> months ago. Like, uh, I, I want to say, like, almost like six months ago. Uh, from, like, a random conversation. And I think it was, like, around, you know, around the same time he had finished, like, benching the show. Or, like, a little bit after. Uh, but... A little while ago, it popped in my head, uh, like all great ideas do. I was like, wait a minute, didn't I have this amazing idea? Wait, or someone suggests an amazing idea? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So I guess I'm gonna go into kind of what's happening uh, in this time lapse. So like the, little, the whole concept I, you saw in the beginning, where I kind of just did some thumbnails just to get the overall positioning of his body. And this trick little right here, uh, I'm so glad I learned this trick, where you can just, you kind of just draw one piece of it, especially for stuff that's symmetrical, you kind of just draw a piece of it, and uh, kind of like line it up, especially like you see how the middle line is there, just kind of line it up to the line right there. Line it up to the line? Yeah, I said that. So we line it up to the line, everybody, and just kind of duplicate it, flip it, and bam, you have a perfectly symmetrical design. Uh, it saves a lot of time because I used to try to do it by hand and imperfections just happen. So right here, uh, I had to always use reference. That's like the greatest thing I've ever learned. <laughs> reference saves your life. So here, I'm just kind of cleaning it up. Uh, all the parts where Steven, you know, blocks out the chair itself. You know, clean up the lines here and there. Now for this, uh, I don't necessarily have to do this, but I still do it anyway. It's my whole process. I draw the little thumbnails. Well, the new process. You don't want to see the whole process. <laughs> now the, uh, what I do, I get the concept down. Always my use my reference. I clean up all the edge lines, and then I get the mask ready. Uh, I may, I did make a little mistake here. Uh, I didn't go too detailed with the, like, clean up the outside lines for the perimeter so the mask is, like, perfect. Uh, I mean, it's going to be zoom, zip, zap, zooming all over the place, so you can't really see. Uh, but later on, you're definitely going to see, like, I had to go back in and kind of, like, clean up the edges. Uh, so, when you're doing your mask, definitely, definitely clean up the edges. It'll save you a little bit of time. Now here I'm just going in the basic colors. Uh, just to generally where everything's going to be at. Uh, now, I am not the guy for color theory, necessarily. Uh, I just kind of, you know what, I like this color. You know what, I like this color. Oh, this color over here? Bam! I'm going to use that. And then later on, I'm like... Why does that clash? I don't know. And then I keep on going. <laughs> but hey, I'm still learning. And that is the whole process. Now, I think at this point, uh, like so, like on a subconscious level when I did the spotlight, I was thinking about uh, doing a whole background. Oh, that little part right there. That, that was really really quick uh, 
but I said, sorry, I stopped recording. Because what I had, what I happened was, is that uh, I was multitasking, even though I shouldn't really be multitasking. I need to focus. I ended up. Well, you can't really even tell. It's probably like t- five to ten minutes of like me cleaning up the lines, like I was talking about earlier. But I didn't actually push record. I thought it was really noticeable. It's not noticeable <laughs> at all. Like, if I didn't tell you, you probably wouldn't even be able to... I mean, if you want to rewind back and be like, Hmm, okay, this frame right here, this is a little different than this frame right here. No one's going to do that. Anyway, so I'm going in the shadows. Uh, I didn't want to go too crazy with the shadows. Because I wanted to kind of keep that... Uh, like flat-ish color of Steven, like from the show. I don't want to put too much detail on them, but I wanted to get some shadows in there since there is like a spotlight. And just to kind of practice with lighting. Uh, I'm not the best at light sources. I'm trying as hard as I possibly can uh, because I think my issue is that I get confused on where the light's coming from midway through a piece. Uh, I have gotten significantly better. I used to not. I just like, oh wait, I'm just gonna put a shadow here, here, and here, for like, just random, no light source. Where's your light source at? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I really like how the the chair came out. Uh, specifically the fabric part. Uh, at first when I was doing, it, I was like, this looks trash. And then when I kind of stepped away and came back to it. I was like, oh, that that almost looks rendered. That is fire. The word of the day is fire. I think I'm saying that a little too much. Now, right here, I had to kind of put some highlights on the chair where all the gold, the gold is. And I didn't really know what material I wanted the, like, the red. I think I originally wanted them to be, like, big red gems and then the top you know, some red gems, but I kind of made it more of a, I guess, like, plasticky, I guess, material, so it's not really shining that much. Now, with the crown, I definitely had to, like, play around with it, but, eh, I think it came out all right. I might I should have put a little bit more detail on the crown, but hey. I think it came out well. Now here's more cleaning up on the lines. And then that stubble. Uh, I made an effort to make sure I had a whole layer specifically for his stubble. <laughs> uh, now this little halo feature right here. Uh, I wanted to get that like halo effect from, from the show. Like with Steven when he goes like full like that full diamond effect so I think it came out pretty well it's it's I wanted it to be pretty subtle I, I think it might be too subtle now here I'm just messing with the like the overlayer for like the blur and this this I just learned like to make a, a like a proper spotlight I'm so glad I learned this and I think it came out really well so this is about to wrap up. No real outro yet, but be sure to hit me with that three hit combo, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks everyone, and remember to keep that pen to paper and say badass and beautiful. We out!